I don't get a lot, God you win And I don't pay my rent, God you win They be one for my hand, but God you win They be one keep my joy, but God you win I say anything them do not God you win No not God you win, no not God you win no. Anything them do not God you win I win! I win! I won a jackpot! Wow! This is the popular victorious exclamation of an excited winner of a lottery. The beauty of this emotional declaration is that its reverberation reaches far and touches the lives of many people. Truth is, each time you place a bet or you win, the society also wins. Government takes taxes from the aggregate sum, the Lottery Commission ensures that a dedicated percentage goes to the National Lottery Fund, which is used for executing landmark infrastructure or profound projects like hospitals, stadia and sporting centers, schools, universities, even roads. Lottery, sports betting, racing and the gaming industry in general is a subtle but steady tool for national development. The gaming industry provides employment for a critical mass of thousands of people across different social strata. Promoters, agents, printers, publicists, billboard producers, advertisers, even transporters. Each bet or money by a staker is a token that forms a little drop that streams in gently to form a pool of fund that could be used for development projects and charitable causes, which are practical signals that lottery is a veritable catalyst of national development. That is why in many countries of the world today, lottery has become a major source of revenue. Beyond taxing, Proceeds from the industry are used in different ways to improve the economies and living standards of citizens. From the United States, United Kingdom, Germany to the Netherlands, lottery is utilized in financing projects that preserve, enhance and restore the state's environment and natural resources, amongst others. When the first modern lottery was launched in the United States with the debut of the New Hampshire in March 1964, it was received with skepticism, but with good regulations and forthright systems, lottery has continued to rise and today it earns huge revenue for governments of different states of America. Not only that, many Americans place high hopes in lottery for their betterment. That lottery thrives in the United Kingdom and other countries of the world today is a result of deliberate efforts of government backed by sincere synergies of all the relevant agencies of government. In 2005, Nigeria saw the light and joined the League of Lottery Supporting Nations with the establishment of the National Lottery Regulatory Commission, NLRC, mandated to issue licenses and permits set standards, guidelines, rules and promote transparency, integrity in the operations of business of lottery in Nigeria, the commission is steadily coming of age. Expectedly, the industry suffered what could be considered the teething challenges as its earnings for government hovered around 200 million and 400 million for over a decade. But since 2017, the fortunes of the NLRC took a super positive turn as it began generating billions of naira in revenue for the federal government. Without any relent, the commission has continued to put measures deliberately positioning lottery as a major revenue earner for Nigeria. From his first month in office, the ever-resourceful Director General of the National Lottery Regulatory Commission, Mr. Lanry Bajabiamila, has left nobody in doubt on his capacity, competence and readiness to take lottery to higher levels in Nigeria. Versed and seasoned in the business, Bajabiamila, the man behind the formalization of lottery business in the nation's commercial capital, Lagos, where he raised lottery earnings from 0 0.0 to over 6 billion naira yearly, took off the National Lottery Regulatory Commission with a transformation program which has become a huge success in all aspects today. 
For two days in July 2021, the Commission, in a very bold step, brought together all the critical stakeholders in the industry as it organized the first ever gaming conference in Nigeria, where all issues concerning the growth of the industry were scientifically discussed with a solid seven-point communique. To achieve uniformity in the trade, the stakeholders resolved that financial standard be tailored to accommodate the peculiarities of operators in the gaming industry. Another major highlight of the conference was the issue of engendering robust legislative framework which would accommodate the concerns of all stakeholders and the formation of greater synergies by the NLRC and sister agency National Lottery Trust Fund in the establishment of monumental projects to reflect the impact of lottery proceeds in the industry. And after the conference, a lot of improvements have been noticed in the gaming industry. The conference has fostered higher stability, promotes healthy competition and institutes a regime of synergy that has made the gaming and betting sector an integral part of the Nigerian economy. Progressing from these profound achievements, Lanrig Bajabiamila has taken another big leap forward in elevating the gaming conference to international standards, fitting perfectly to the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Leading by example, the NLRC CEO has within five months has effectively keyed into Tinubu's agenda, whose aim is mainly to transform the country and better the lot of Nigerians through good governance, enhanced security and accelerated economic development. Elevating the conference to its new status, Lanrig Bajapiamila, who is now known across Nigeria as Mr. Lottery, says is to attract more foreign investments and inflow of resources to Nigeria in order to expand the nation's business frontiers and create more wealth for Nigerians in continents with a renewed hope agenda. Living up to its mandate, the National Lottery Regulatory Commission is no doubt consciously creating opportunities and openings for stakeholders in the industry and potential investors to interact and connect with the best gaming giants across the world in order to advance their businesses, generate more resources and enhance winnings for Nigerians. With Lanrig Bajapiamila, it is evidently a win-win for all. I don't change my name to God I no more, I don't buy more to God I say my market no go sell for God And then we say I no go blue for God Then my brother Make them try their luck, my God go we No my God go we No my Lord 